Hello, I'm Debbie Bell Hosking and I'm here in the Deutsche Bank Lounge at Cybos in Geneva and I'm talking to Setvinder Singh. Hello Setvinder. Hi Debbie. We're talking redefining the security services um, and the first question would be is what has the effect of disruption and regulatory changes been on the security services industry? Redefining is a big term. We asked our clients, we asked 200 of our top clients and said what's on your mind? What would you like us to focus on? And unsurprisingly, the three themes they said are regulation, technology, emerging markets. Satvenga, you mentioned opportunities. What are those and how can clients benefit? So if you look at what clients are saying to us, they're saying the landscape is changing. The regulatory environment in which we are today is a result of the crisis that happened in 2008 and a lot of the regulations are now in force. Technology is changing. I hate the word disruptive technology, but technology is changing and the impact on our business models are changing and clients are still trying to find investment opportunities and growth and that's emerging markets. Combination of the three, clients want us to provide a service that allows them to capture the upside of all three. So we're now as an organization moving from what I would say a set menu to an a la carte. What do you mean by that? So we've all prided ourselves on giving a very simplistic view of what we do. We provide custody, we do FX, we do interest rates, we do a lot of fund administration, we do valuations and we bundle it together. My view of the forward is very different. We will give clients the option to pick and choose. So if you look at Target 2 for securities, some of our clients have gone in for an all-in model, others have chosen an, uh, an account operator model, others have chosen asset servicing only, and in another case we've chosen a model where we work with an ICSD very different. So in my mind, that's the new a la carte menu. And depending on the client, depending on the market, they will choose what's right for them. So what would you define as the threats and what should banks be doing? So I think threat, I, I wouldn't use the word threat. I think where the game changing things will happen is if organizations don't continue to invest. Our business is after all a technology and operations business. So there's a need for continuous investment, number one. Number two, if we stop listening to our clients. And that is, I think, the death knell for any institution that doesn't spend enough time listening to its clients. Number three is looking at technology and looking at technology from a more of an enabling. How does technology enable me to be even more relevant to my clients and even more successful? So it's embracing the technology that's out there today, but also working on technology that's going to be there in the next three to five years and saying, what does distributed ledger do for me? What does RegTech do for me? Where do I fit in from an organizational perspective? And what do my clients want from that? Well, thank you very much for your time, Sadvinder. Thank you, Debbie. And thank you for watching.